Hello guys, I hope you guys are doing fine today. I just stumbled upon this very fascinating project which reminded me of a lot of previous efforts in doing the similar things with computing power with even electricity grid. This new project EXO aims to enable you to share the GPU power or even CPU power across your devices on your network. You remember that a lot of hype around peer-to-peer -peer network and decentralized network where we have these individual devices which share their computing resources such as processing power, storage or bandwidth directly with each other without relying on a central server or authority. In a P2P network, each participant acts as both a client and a server enabling and equal sharing of resources and data. A real world example is such as Bitcoin, which is a cryptocurrency that operates on P2P network where individual nodes share their computing power to validate transactions, solve complex mathematical problems and maintain a public ledger called the blockchain, which ensures integrity and security of the network without a central authority. This EXO is not exactly like uh, blockchain technology, but concept is somewhat similar. So what it does is it lets you run your own artificial intelligence cluster at home with any device of your choice, whether it is iPhone, iPad, Android, Mac, Linux, Windows, pretty much any device. So for example, if you you don't have to buy like multiple NVIDIA GPUs for your cluster. You just can have one or even none and then you can just run your models across your devices taking advantage of computing power. It is still very very early stages experimental software so there are a lot of bugs at the moment but they are fixing it quite rapidly community is involved and Exolabs is the team which are also very much present on um, X or Twitter and they are adding more and more features. So at the moment, this EXO supports Llama and other few other popular open source models. It all, so what how it works is it does dynamic model partitioning. It optimally splits up model based on the current network topology and device resources available. And this enables you to run larger models than you would be able to run on, a, on any single device. EXO automatically discovers other devices using the best methods available so you don't have to do any configuration no configuration whatsoever and that is what i love about it what it means is anyone can use it and i will shortly show you how you can install it so exo also provides a chat gpt compatible api for running models so it is a one line change in your application to run models on your own hardware using exo so for example if you have something like vpc in your AWS cloud, in your account, or similarly, you have VPC in Google Cloud or anywhere, and you want to connect all of your VMs in your VPC and just want to use the, their power, computing power or GPU power together, you can do that with EXO. And unlike other distributed inference frameworks, EXO does not use a master worker architecture. Instead, EXO devices connect peer to peer, which I just described earlier. As long as a device is connected somewhere in the network, it can be used to run models. How good is that? Also, EXO supports different partitioning strategies to split up a model across devices. The default partitioning strategy is ring memory weighted partitioning. So what this ring memory weighted partitioning does, it runs an inference in a ring where each device runs a number of model layers proportional to the memory of the device and EXO does it by itself. Now let me show you how you can get it installed. So I'm just going to show you here. I'm not doing the actual installation because I don't have network. So what is happening here is first thing you need to do is to make sure you have Python 3.12 or higher installed. It won't work with any other Python version. And then clone the repo, CD into it and then get it installed like this and then once it is installed then after that all you need to do is to from the repo source just run python3 main.py and it is going to do the automatic discovery and then connect with other devices to run the model and you can you do the same with any node on your network and it is going to be part of your peer-to-peer -peer network how good is that how simple and easy it is 
no yaml file configuration no dot env configuration it is just going to work with your inference engine and what inference engines you can use you can use mlx you can use tinygrad you can use llama.cpp so for linux i would highly suggest you go with llama.cpp for apple's devices go with mlx and then you need it uses it connects on bluetooth radio or grpc so pretty good very very early stages uh, but still looks really cool to me now let me show you one video from x from alex chima who has posted a working demo on his twitter account so let me show you that so this is a demo let me run it and i will also drop the link to it in the video description so you see that it, they are starting on one of the server inference is running and then it is using on every device yeah, there you go so it is running on one device and it is using multiple devices and look how many devices are there on the network so this is the beauty of peer-to-peer -peer network how good is that the inference is being run in one editor and then it is being propagated and being used in rest of the network and these are disparate devices different ones so you don't have to rely on one architecture there phone there is ipad there are laptops amazing stuff real good stuff and if you look at their twitter account he is using iphone 15 pro max ipad pro max galaxy s24 ultra macbook pro m2 m3 pro and then two nvidia geforce rtx 4090 card on that system amazing stuff now other than that you can see that if i go back to the repo one of the bit of a downer is that the ios implementation has fallen behind python so but i'm more than sure if more and more community members get together this could be lifted because <clears throat> um, i'm not an apple user so ios will be highly amazing if we could do that there are a lot of devices which we could plug in and start uh, cracking there so that's it guys i hope that you um, liked it and by the way this is not the only project which is running in the community at the moment there are heaps of other projects and i already have covered few of them so if you're interested just search my channel with some decentralized and distributed um, cluster um, i think there are various swarms which are running too but i really like the very less manual configuration of this exo project if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel and if you're already subscribed please do me a favor and share it among your network as it helps a lot thank you very much for watching